Good afternoon. I'm working at the salon today. I just went in and did one client and now I have an hour gap in my schedule. So I figured let me run out and get myself some coffee or something. And I figured this was the perfect time to sit down and share something very exciting with you guys but first i do have to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video anna louisa i get asked where i get my jewelry from all the time and i always get asked like oh does it tarnish how's the quality because a lot of the pieces that i have i wear on a regular basis and i literally never take them off um like this bracelet that i have is from them these little huggy earrings that I have are from them. And those are pieces that I never remove. I wear them in the shower. All of the rings that I'm wearing today are from them as well. These hoops I'm wearing are also from them. I just recently got these. And I also got like these twisted rope earrings that are beautiful. They remind me of a pair that I had as a kid in the 90s. And I love them because you can wear them on their own. But if you're into like stacking jewelry too, like I usually am, they stack really nicely and they are a sustainable company. They offset 100% of their carbon emissions. They also make all of their jewelry in small batches to eliminate excess waste. All of their jewelry does start at $39, which is amazing for high quality pieces that are gonna last you a really long time. So if you guys are interested in checking out Ana Luisa, I have a link in my description as well as a discount code so you can save yourself 10% on your purchase. I know a lot of you guys have told me that you've purchased from them since hearing about them in my videos and you absolutely love the pieces that you've gotten to and the quality so yeah definitely check them out and thank you so much Anna Luisa for working with me again yeah as you can tell from the title of this video I'm moving and I know some of you guys are probably gonna be like again didn't you just move like in the spring and yes yes I did <laughs> so I was living in an apartment by myself and then I had moved in with my boyfriend into a little cottage that is on his parents' property. And that was always intended to just kind of be a temporary thing. I knew that I didn't want to renew another year on my lease at my apartment because there were just so many issues and just lots of reasons why I didn't want to stay there and I just I knew I didn't want to be locked into a full year lease because I didn't really know what I wanted to do I've always been back and forth about moving since I was in high school I've always said that I wanted to leave this area that I wanted to live in a warm climate and I just didn't want to be stuck here forever like I'm in a pretty small town I've lived here since I was like 10 years old and you know now that I'm an adult I turned 29 a few months ago and I'm finally for the first time in my life in a place where I'm financially stable and can fully financially support myself and I feel like secure in my career and I've just really been reevaluating everything in my life I, I think for a while I tried convincing myself like no I you know I have a good life here something really was just like pulling me to make a change and to finally like pull the trigger and move to a warm climate so yeah i am moving to wilmington north carolina which is pretty south it's like right on the border pretty much with south carolina right on the coast i started thinking about this back in june like right around my birthday pretty much like right after i turned 29 i was just like reevaluating everything in my life and i got this idea in my head and i started going to therapy around that same time too and this is something that i've talked about in great detail with my therapist, with my family, with my boss, my friends, and everyone has just been so supportive and encouraging. And what made me really feel like it was the right decision too is that nobody had a negative reaction. Like everyone that I've told that I was even thinking about doing this was really excited for me. Um, and really encouraging. At the beginning of September, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that I was down there a few weeks ago with my mom and my brother and we were just scoping it out and we looked at some apartments and I found one that is perfect. I love it so much and I signed a lease. Hi guys, it is currently Tuesday, September 7th. I am in Wilmington, North Carolina. I just signed a lease on an apartment. We literally, is my mascara running? It was raining like crazy earlier so my hair's a little bit of a mess but um, I had been looking at these apartments online, doing a bunch of research, um, and then we toured a few today, 
and the one that was already like my first choice I just I loved it I really fell in love the whole everything about like the apartment complex as a whole the people in the office the actual apartments themselves everything about it and the area like it really is just everything that I was looking for here and everything that I've always said that I wanted and it's kind of crazy that a place like this actually exists because it's perfect for me but even though this is a very exciting moment I also feel really nervous and really anxious because this is something I've been thinking about for months I've contemplated been back and forth I've talked about this with all of my family my boss my friends my therapist everyone everyone is encouraging me to do this it really feels like the right move um and like logically I know that it's a good decision and it's like I, I should just go for it why not you know it's one of those things where it's like I don't know like for some reason I I make it out to be a bigger deal than it is it's like yes it's kind of a far drive from home but it's not like I'm in a different country I'm still on the east coast there's nothing that's good like permanently tying me to this area or this decision like I can always go back home or move somewhere else or whatever like it's really people move all the time and I've been saying that I've wanted to move out of my town forever I know all of that logically I'm like yes this is a good decision it's a well thought out decision it's a responsible decision but like emotionally I keep going back and forth from being like super super excited and being like yes I can't wait this is amazing to being like wait is this the right choice I'm, I'm scared I'm nervous oh my god I'm gonna be moving here I don't know anybody I don't have any friends I it's literally gonna be just me alone but then I'm like, wait, but I love being alone. So that's also going to be exciting. I can't wait. You know, like I, I literally just keep going back and forth. It's like a roller coaster of emotions for me. And I just can't believe that like I literally signed this lease. I'm like, wait, what? That's, that's where I'm at right now. That's what's going on. But I'm excited for this journey and I'm excited to share it. And I hope that this will kind of inspire other people. If there's something that you've been always wanting to do that feels like a risk or you're really scared to do it, you're hesitant, hopefully this shows you like, I'm doing something that scares the shit out of me. And if I can do it by myself, you can do it too. And my lease starts December 8th. So in two months, I am gonna be moving down there and I am going alone. I'm gonna be bringing Benny, my dog, of course, but um, yeah, my boyfriend and I are gonna be splitting ways. I never really showed my relationship on social media at all because he just wasn't comfortable with it. Um, he's a really private person. And also I feel like the more that you share with people, the more it opens you up to judgment and criticism and speculation. And I just really don't wanna deal with that. We both are like on the same page about everything. It was like both of our decisions. We're handling it in like the best way possible. It's very amicable. I don't wanna say too much about it. Cause like I said, I wanna just kind of keep that private, but I know that I have to say something about it. Cause otherwise I'm probably gonna get questions. But in the meantime, I am still at the house with him. Like I said, everything is good. We're cordial. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention too is as far as work goes, um, of course I wanna continue doing hair. But I think that what I'm going to do is take a couple of months, give myself some time to get settled in, and then I'm going to look into what my best options are, which what's really cool about down there is they have a lot of salon suites. That's something that is not an option where I live now. We can't even booth rent here. I'm going to look into either a salon suite, booth rental, or just, you know, working at a salon as an employee and see what my best option is gonna be. That's another thing that I'm gonna be excited to share with you guys, growing a clientele, like starting from scratch again, basically. But, oh my God, I'm just so excited. I cannot wait for the vlogs, the moving vlogs, and to share with you guys my apartment and to decorate with you guys. I got a one bedroom apartment and I'm so excited. I have a washer and dryer, finally! Finally, a washer and dryer and a dishwasher and central air conditioning. Thank the Lord. All things that I have been without for the last couple of years. There's amenities there, so I'm gonna have a little gym, a pool, dog park. It's very dog friendly there. The whole town 
is very, very dog friendly. And my apartment is 12 minutes from the beach. To be able to just go whenever I want, just for like an hour, just read a book, like eat my lunch on the beach, crazy that hasn't even like fully sunk in for me yet it's also so much more affordable everything about it just feels really right what i like down there in that area too is it feels like a lot of people have moved there from all over which is really cool it's very diverse whereas i feel like here i'm only ever meeting people that are from the tri-state area like pa jersey or new york for the most part everyone is just really really friendly it's just a totally different way of life down there and they have so many more stores. I'm gonna have a Whole Foods and a Trader Joe's. Here, I have to drive at least an hour to get to either one of those. There's just more going on there, but it still has like that small town feel, which I do like. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna get my stuff down there and if I wanna just like ship my furniture down or buy new stuff, I don't know. But I'm definitely gonna share all of that. I want to vlog the entire process packing, moving, getting down their empty apartment tour, unpacking, all of it. And I'm excited that I can finally talk about it now because this is something that I've known about for a while, but I wanted to wait till it was official and set in stone and my lease was signed and I had a definite date and I knew this was really happening before I said anything. So yeah, it's happening December 8th. I need to go. I'm gonna run in and get a coffee really quick. <laughs> um because then i need to run back to the salon for my next client but that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for your support for following for watching you know commenting liking everything means so much to me don't forget to check my description for the link and discount code for anna luisa and i'll see you really soon in my next video bye